हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर इलेवन ऑन सीरीज इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट कन्वर्जेंस टेस्ट नोन एज ऑल्टरनेटिंग सीरीज टेस्ट विच वॉज गिवन बाय मैथमेटिशियन लिबनिस सो दैट टेस्ट इज गिवन बाय लिबनिस थियरम सो बिफोर गोइंग फॉर लिबनिस थियरम वी जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज ऑल्टरनेटिंग सीरीज सो ऑल्टरनेटिंग सीरीज इज ए सीरीज इन विच टर्म्स आर ऑल्टरनेटली पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी कंसिडर सीरीज ऑफ दिस फॉर्म बी वन माइनस बी टू प्लस बी थ्री माइनस बी फोर सो वी कैन सी हियर बी वन इज पॉजिटिव देन बी टू इज नेगेटिव बी थ्री इज पॉजिटिव बी फोर इज नेगेटिव सो इज सीरीज ऑफ द फॉर्म बी वन माइनस बी टू प्लस बी थ्री माइनस बी फोर एंड सो वन is called an alternating series so the alternating series is the series in which terms are alternately positive and negative and see in sigma notation we can write this series as sigma n equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 raised to n minus 1 times bn if we wish we can write minus 1 raised to n plus 1 also it will remain same so this is a example of alternating series 1 minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 equal to sigma n equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 raised to n minus 1 divided by n so this is example of alternating series this is another example terms are alternately positive negative and we have sigma minus 1 raised to n minus 1 times n n is running from 1 to infinity so if our series is alternating series uh, we cannot apply the tests which we have discussed so far so far we have discussed integral test comparison test ratio test root test and rabe's test so all these tests were applicable for series with positive terms so here if we have alternating series then there are infinite number of negative terms in this series so it is not a series with positive terms so we cannot apply integral test comparison ratio root or rabe's test to alternating series so for alternating series we have another test which is given by leibniz theorem and that test is known as alternating series test so first we understand what is alternating series test or what is leibniz theorem so suppose we have alternating series of this form b1 minus b2 plus b3 minus b4 which we can write in sigma notation as sigma minus 1 raised to n minus 1 times bn so this alternating series is convergent if three conditions are satisfied first condition is all this b1 b2 b3 and so on all these quantities that is bn must be positive for all n second requirement is if we concentrate on these terms b1 b2 b3 then b2 must be smaller than b1 b3 must be smaller than b1 that means the sequence bn is decreasing sequence if we consider these terms bn then b1 must be greater than b2 b2 must be greater than b3 and so on so this we can represented as bn plus 1 if we consider nth term and n plus 1th term then bn plus 1 must be less than or equal to bn this is second requirement and third requirement is if we consider limit of bn as n tends to infinity it must be equal to 0 so the alternating series is convergent if all three of the following conditions are satisfied first condition is bn is positive for all n second condition is bn plus 1 is less than or equal to bn and or we can understand in this way also b1 is greater than or equal to b2 
b2 is greater than or equal to b3 and so on so bn must be decreasing and limit of bn as n tends to infinity must be equal to 0 so if these three conditions are satisfied for an alternating series then alternating series is always convergent now if any of these three conditions is not satisfied then we cannot apply this test for that we have to think for another results or another convergence tests so we understand this alternating series test with the help of two examples here we are asked to test the convergence of the series 1 minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 which we can write in sigma notation as sigma minus 1 raised to n minus 1 over n n is from 1 to infinity this series is known as alternating harmonic series we know that sigma 1 by n n equal to 1 to infinity is harmonic series and here we are considering alternately positive and negative signs so this series is known as alternating harmonic series so if we compare this series with uh, sigma minus 1 raised to n minus 1 times b n this is the standard form of alternating series which we are using so if we compare this with this form uh, we can see here b n is nothing but 1 by n n is greater than or equal to 1 so first requirement of the alternating series test is b n must be positive so it is clear that b n is positive for all n greater than or equal to 1 second requirement is b n plus 1 must be less than or equal to b n or if we consider difference of b n and b n plus 1 then it must be greater than or equal to 0 so either we can consider difference of b n and b n plus 1 or here it is clear uh, we know that n plus 1 is always greater than n this is clear this is true for all natural numbers starting from 1 so if we take reciprocal we have 1 over n plus 1 is less than 1 by n for all n greater than or equal to 1 now this is b n and if we replace n by n plus 1 this is b n plus 1 so b n plus 1 is less than b n for all n greater than or equal to 1 now if it is not possible to directly observe this thing then we can try in this way also we find out the difference between bn and bn plus 1 so bn is 1 by n bn plus 1 is 1 over n plus 1 and if we take the lcm we have n into n plus 1 here n plus 1 minus n so we can see bn minus bn plus 1 is 1 over n times n plus 1 and it is always greater than 0 for all n so therefore bn minus bn plus 1 is positive and this says that bn plus 1 is less than bn for all n so this is another way to show that these bn's are decreasing if it is obvious then we can go in this way otherwise uh, this will work we find out the difference between bn and bn plus 1 and the difference must be positive so second condition is satisfied third condition is limit of bn as n tends to infinity must be 0 so here bn is 1 by n and we know that limit of 1 by n as n tends to infinity is 0 so third condition is also satisfied so all the conditions of Leibniz theorem are satisfied first condition is bn is positive for all n 
सेकंड कंडीशन इज बी एन इज डिक्रीजिंग थर्ड कंडीशन इज लिमिट ऑफ बी एन इज जीरो सो वी कैन से दैट गिवन सीरीज इज कन्वर्जेंट सो बाय लिबनिस थियोरम और बाय द अल्टरनेटिंग सीरीज टेस्ट alternating series test given series is convergent so this is very easy test to check the convergence of alternating series we consider one more series here we have to check the convergence of this series वन माइनस वन बाई टू स्क्वेर प्लस वन बाय थ्री स्क्वेर हियर आई हैव टू राइट नेगेटिव साइन माइनस वन बाय फोर स्क्वेर प्लस एंड सो वन सो दिस वी कैन री राइट एज सिग्मा माइनस वन रेस टू एन माइनस वन डिवाइडेड बाय एन स्क्वेर एन इज रनिंग फ्रॉम वन टू इन्फिनिटी सो नाउ वी first write down what is bn so if we compare with sigma minus 1 raised to n minus 1 bn here bn is 1 by n square n is starting from 1 so it is clear that bn is positive for all n so bn is greater than 0 for all n now here we have n square so uh, we know the relationship between n plus 1 and n this is clear for all n we are trying to show that bn's are decreasing but we require square so we consider n plus 1 square is greater than n square for all n therefore 1 over square of n plus 1 is less than 1 over n square for all n now this 1 by n square is bn and if we replace n by n plus 1 we obtain 1 over n plus 1 whole square which is bn plus 1 so bn plus 1 is less than bn for all n and if you are not comfortable in this way you can go by taking the difference of bn and bn plus 1 and you have to show that this difference is positive for all n so here second condition is also satisfied now third condition is limit of bn as n tends to infinity must be equal to 0 so bn is 1 by n square n tending to infinity this is obviously zero so all the three conditions of the leibniz theorem are satisfied here bn is positive for all n bn are decreasing bn plus 1 is less than bn for all n and limit of bn is zero so therefore by leibniz theorem or by alternating series test given series is convergent is convergent so in this way we can use alternating series test for alternating series of the form sigma minus 1 raised to n minus 1 times bn so we will remember three conditions bn is positive bn plus 1 is less than or equal to bn all these things must be true for all values of n and limit of bn as n tends to infinity is zero so if these three conditions are satisfied alternating series is convergent but if any of these three conditions is not satisfied we cannot apply leibniz theorem or we cannot say anything about convergence using alternating series test so in that case we have to think about another result or another convergence test so this is all about alternating series test i hope you like this video thank you very much